This uh, recording will describe the process of delay time picking, which is a way of obtaining a delay time solution uh, without having to pick the individual first breaks. The process is we're going to assign refractors using uh, the traces themselves and then apply the solution and stack the shots and receivers. And by picking the shots and receivers, we effectively residual the delay times. The um, delay times that we get from this process can be used towards a solution if we trust the velocities, the refractor velocities that we picked in the delay time in the uh, branch assignment. However, that's usually not the case. So what we typically will do is use these delay times in the refractor velocity field to predict picks. What I'm going to show you right now though is just how to obtain the delay times. So in this case, I, I just actually built this project and I don't have any, therefore I have no picks, as you can see. Uh, let's go back to uh, this, turn off the grouping so we can see the whole, um, all, the, all the receiver lines for each shot. Okay, and like I said, we're going to go into the, <coughs> the branches on it. It just use traces. Since we don't have any picks anyway, we can't use the first, we can't use the first one effectively. So these uh, pink uh, dots here represent places where I have my sp sparse CMP gathers. So these are the ones I'm going to use. So let's start in the upper left hand corner here. And I'm going to apply linear move out. And I'm going to lock my time axis so I can see better. And I'm going to go after a, the first refract, this, the second refractor. In previous uh, lessons, I've explained that we actually have three refractors here. We have one here that's about 54, 5,500 feet per second. And then there's another one here. It's about 6,000. And then there's another one here, which is about 6,600, 6,700. So I'm just going to focus in on this one here. And I'm going to work on the trough. So the trough is the event that I'm interested in. So that's why I'm picking right through the trough here. Let's look over here and I'll go in from about to here to here. Uh, let's go, let's go down and look, let's do the corners. And let's do over here. And let's pick one in the middle. Okay, so now we have a, over here you can see we have a velocity field which is about 6,000 to 6,200 feet per second, so it's pretty tight velocities. Down here we have delay times, which range from about 40 to 60-ish. So again, not, not a lot of shape. A little deeper up here, a shallower over here, and um, average in the middle here. Okay, so I'm going to apply changes. And you definitely want to do this here. This is a required step before you go into the uh, delay time picking. And we don't need to do this since we don't have any picks. And we don't want to go to analysis since we don't have any picks anyway. So I'm going to eliminate that. And now what I want to do is go into the delay time um, Let's see here, where is it? Delay time, shot receiver, stack picker. Because we're actually going to be using the shots and receivers stacks to pick delay times. So the window brings us up like so. And as you can see here, we have um, our delay times for the shots. And if we look up here, we have the option for creating new stacks. We have um, some options here, like for example, we can pick and we can look at the shot or, and or receiver plane. So we're going to look at the shot plane first, and then we'll do the receiver plane. Um, we have display options for picking, and uh, we also have our hotkeys. So we have access to the hotkeys. And the hotkeys we're going to be using uh, the most, uh, besides our picking ones, our next group and previous group. And, and I have those assigned to the left and right arrows, so I'm going to be using those to navigate through the, the, the map, as you'll, you'll see what I mean in a little bit. So the first thing we want to do, however, is we want to create stacks. 
So the program's creating. So what we're doing is, if you look down here, we're actually applying the analysis. So we're applying our refractor velocities and our delay times. We're taking the traces and our refractor offset range, and we're stacking them. So what we're looking at here, if it was a perfect delay time solution with perfect refractor velocities, perfect delay times, these traces, this uh, trough would be sitting right on zero. So I need to make sure I'm going to be picking a trough here. So I need to find out where that is. Display options. I can pick controls here. I want to pick a trough. Because the default, if you know, if you've come into this program before, you know the default is always a peak. So I want to pick a trough because I like this event. And you can see why. It's very consistent, more so than the than the peak above it. So back to here. So I'm gonna I created the stack. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pick as if these were regular traces. Right now they're stack traces, but they're regular traces in a sense. So um, let's look at my hotkeys, or my pick controls, and I'm gonna pick, add to the left and add to the right, so J and K. So I'm gonna do J, K. And now I want to move to the next gather, so I'm gonna push my arrow. And over here on the map, you can see that I'm moving through my survey. I also happen to have a key that says add both. So I'm gonna use F and see how that does. We also have a key that says pick on zero time, and we could use that also. Pick on zero, we just pick the closest thing to, to um, the zero time here, which in this case happens to be pretty close. So let me uh, try that. Let's go pick zero, and, it, and you can see it's doing okay. Z, so I'm just pushing my navigation key, which is the arrow key, and then I'm pushing the letter Z and I'm picking through the survey. And what I'm doing is I'm actually residualing the delay times. If the delay time is, if the trace is too, if this event is above zero, and by picking that, I'm saying you overcorrected it and I want you to reduce the pick time, the delay time by, in this case, about 15 milliseconds. If it's too low, that means I didn't apply enough delay time. So by picking this trace here, by picking this event, in this case, I'm telling it right here, I want to pick the take change the delay time for that shot by six milliseconds. I want to add six milliseconds. I said I didn't have enough, so I want to add six milliseconds to the delay time. One more, perhaps maybe two more, and one more. Okay, so that does it. Now let's look at the receivers. So the receiver plane is, I want to select the plane receiver and I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to march up the receivers. And you can see right now I'm grouping it by count. I could also do it by line number. I like to do the line number for the receivers because that'll do one receiver line at a time. Okay, so I'm going to pick on zero, Z. As you can see, I'm just marching up on the map on the, on the right there. I'm marching up the, this one here. Um, I think I'm going to pick there. This may actually be a reverse trace, uh, polarity reversal. I'm not going to deal with it right now. That's not the intent of this. Okay, so I've done the receivers. So I'm going to go back over to here and I'm going to stack again. Let's go back to the shot plane. And you can see that my event is pretty flat on zero. Now, and I've, I'm also grouping by line number here, so that's why I'm a little bit different than I was before. But if I march through here, you can see that there's really not much left on, let me go back to um, by count of 100. It's better for the shot plane. But as you can see, there, well, there's a few places here. Let me, uh, let's, I think I'll just pick the whole thing again. So what I'm doing is I'm residualing my residualing. So I'm actually converging on zero.
as you can know, all my all my lessons are unrehearsed, so uh, they have that unfinished quality about them. Okay, let's look at the receivers again. This time, go back to line number and pretty flat on zero. Not that guy though. Let's fix him. And you would do this process until everything looks very flat. So I'm going to create one more time just, just to look one more time at the shot plane. over here look at the shot plane and let's go by um, count and now you can see I'm pretty flat all right so now so we have delay times and these are already saved to our database I mean as we've been uh, compute as we've been picking on these stack traces the database the delay times have actually been updated so what we're seeing over here on the right this map here represents the current state of the delay times in our database consequently we can go to the pick window for example here and we can actually apply our solution so let's um, default so we've actually applied if we go back over to here you can see that we've applied our delay time analysis shifts and the program is actually already starting to pick for us it's picking the event nearest the t nearest uh, the zero time so let's just uh, let's just bounce around our survey and see how this would work so this is the effect predicting by applying the solution a perfect solution is right on zero and as you can see um, most of the time I'm pretty close to zero certainly close enough to actually pick the event so I'm not going to uh, pick that. I can, well, let me see here. Let's do that. Uh, let's go over here and start batch picker. So let's do that. So it's actually using that solution, but it, keep in mind, it's only applying the solution to the traces that pertain to the refractor. So we're not really picking outside of that. And then we get this event, this thing called FBP pick T and we need to move those into user picks. That's why, so they're green. We want them to change color. I think my color is red. Um, so let's see, so we're gonna do that. Um, we don't have any over any pick times right now, so we don't want, we don't care if we overwrite. So we're going to copy column. Close. Don't want to do anything else right now. So there's our picks. So this is a solution, a delay time solution. Um, but it's consistent with the velocities that we specified in branch assignment, okay? So keep in mind that if we look at this refractor velocity here, this refractor velocity was picked based on five points when we still had statics in our, in our picks. So, we, um, so if, this was a, if this was a really good refractor velocity field, those delay times would be, would be okay. But I don't really trust this delay time. It's a pretty crude, I, mean, I don't trust this velocity field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, at this point, I'm going to just compute a solution using those picks. So I'm going to, under delay time, I'm going to um, do the analysis and I'm going to do the default analysis. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm recomputing my delay times now, but I'm also recomputing the velocities, but this time I'm using the picks. So my solution has now been upgraded. So what I did was I used my delay time picking to predict a good enough solution to predict the picks. I picked it and then I reran a solution to get a solution that's consistent with the picks. So now my velocities and my delay time field are both now consistent with actual picks on the first breaks. Thank you very much.